Let's do this, Brutus. Welcome back to the channel. Sorry. I just, I pulled this wig out and I forgot how much I like this shirt. Welcome back to the channel. I'm mad hype because I can't stop looking at how good this hair looks. Like, this is old. And I like revived it a little bit for what I could. Cause I didn't, this is one of my first wigs ever, like, that I purchased. Cause usually, you know, we just make them. I didn't take any kind of good care of it. And one day I kind of picked it out and like tried to bring it back to life. And it's been like sitting on a shelf for like two months. And I just was like, let me see what this hair looks like. So I took it down and put it on. <laughs> it's so popping. It's so popping. Okay. Today's video is different for me. And I guess for the channel in some sense. This video is slightly different, not really, kind of sort of. It's a review on some hair, but it's not bundled hair, it's wigs, inexpensive wigs. So we're gonna be doing some inexpensive wiggery up in here. This is really an impromptu video because I was just compelled to like praise this hair that I got this weekend. And just, I really, really wanted to just get on the camera and just express my ever dying or ever living or everlasting whatever love for this hair that I just got I can't unbox it because I've already worn it I didn't intend to do a video on it I just I received so many compliments it looks so much closely related to my own hair color and it just the way it looks on me is just the bomb so it's this hair right here this hair right here it is like 27 613 and like not four but something that's more like a sandy brown like it is the perfect mix of colors it almost looks identical to the hair growing out of my head I love this loose wave a lot of the problem I have is that I don't really wear dark color wigs or dark color hair so when you go into a uh, um, beauty supply store, mind you, I, I got I get all my wigs from the beauty supply store. I don't feel comfortable enough yet to like spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on wigs yet, but that's coming soon because I'm becoming a pro at this. I just I have to like imagine what the wig's gonna look like in a color that I can wear because I can usually not try on the color that I would want. And I'll see something in black and I'll, you know, I'll be in the wig store for like 20 years because they don't have half of the collection in black. I mean, they don't have half of the collection in a blonde or anything light. It's usually just in browns and blacks and, you know, they play girls that want blonde and you have to get crazy looking and like, whack shit. But you know what the thing is, I love, love, love all the ones that come in co like colors for me. So like this orange red situation, this is probably the darkest with the dark on the bottom, but it's like four on the bottom. This is probably the darkest that I like to go. Oh my God, sorry. I saw the texture of the hair in black. It was like black with red streaks in it or something like that. And I was just like, okay, um, I don't know. It looks like when it gets old, it looks like the older it gets, the more prettier it's gonna look the fuller it's gonna become and the prettier it's gonna look so this is already after like a couple of days that I've had it and I've kind of pulled out some of the I really wish I could have unboxed this and shown it but you know maybe we'll do that in the next one or you know maybe I can start a series out of this and I will unbox my wigs my inexpensive wigs that I buy and um, you know style them with you and review them but so it's already kind of like getting frizzed because I've already like pulled the, you know, I'm pulling the hair apart so that I can make it bigger because if it's not apparent, I love big ass hair. I'm gonna try this on for you and I'm gonna give you the specs of it first though. Her name is called Piper. Say hi to Piper. Hi Piper, hi Piper. She's by Motown Tress. It's Let's Lace, Swiss Lace Deep Part Wig. Now, what I love about this 
was and I'm sorry I can't show you because I've already cut the lace like perfect for my hair but this lace is like a soft lace and it's like re resistant but what I'm saying is soft it's like you know how some of them are hard and they're stiff and, they, and, and they'll start like coming up as they get old because with me I don't use lace glue or lace tape what I do is just put um, edge control and the edge control kind of just holds down the lace and this is perfect for that because it's a soft lace so it kind of just gels to your hair when you have applied the edge control inside the little booklet they give you two different ways to wear it and then they give you the care which is also wonderful care instructions on how to keep your wig looking you know decent for as long as possible here is where the U part is if you want to do that deep invisible part situation but I don't it has two combs where the part is and one comb in the back now it's very very stretchy very stretchy so you know you can get that big ass head in it if you need to and the only thing that I do not like about these combs is that they don't have these combs are like really flimsy like they're not really like sturdy, they're, they're kind of like super duper cheap plasticky, but nonetheless, the ones in the front are, are cheap, but they're soft enough to not like give you like a bunch of pressure, headaches and tension all in the front of your hair when you clip them in, like when you hook them into your own hair. So that I do like. It doesn't have like a significant part. I mean, it has it, it has where you can clip the hair and make the U part, but I'm not gonna do that. I don't, I'm not worried about a part anyway because I always just do this right here, just over to the side and I just kind of like tease this to make it look like hair growing out your head type of situation. Curly hair never looks perfect and when it looks too flat up here then it looks weak. But let's try to make the fake hair look as real as it possibly can. So I'm going to try this on and I'm going to show you what I look like in this filming one. Cheers. Alright, so now we're gonna put it on all heat. Oh, it's so easy to put on. And I was told by the women in the beauty supply store, you never pull your wig from the front. So you pull it from the side and you take your combs and you hook them in. How similar it is to my own like hair color. Bomb, love that. I'm just gonna try to tease it a little the way I have been wearing it. And normally I will have like put some edge control on this. Like I said, I like to frizz out where the roots would be so it doesn't look so stale and just give it more, more body. See, I love the highlights and lowlights. I love this combination of colors. I've never seen anything like this. And I'm just so happy that more and more brands are starting to come out with a wider variety of mixed blonde colors for people like myself, whose hair is sandy blonde by nature. I'm just, I'm just too thrilled. And then the back. What I also forgot to mention is that this hair is good for curling up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So you can also put some heat on this mofo too. But back to this type thing. I love this hair. That's the review. The review is that I love it. I would spend $49.99 again. And this wig looked the best of all of them that have been sitting on shelves for a couple of months. So I said, you know why I like this? Because this wig looks like it'll hold up. The older it gets, the more sexy it's gonna get. And because it has no like super defined curl, this 
like I'll never get frustrated because it doesn't look the way it used to which it eventually won't because it'll start frizzing out more but hopefully by then I'll have a new one because this one is gonna be like a keeper for the rest of my life you dig? it just feels excellent and what I'll probably do with this is do like when I when I take it off at the end of the day I'll probably do like a water oil spray I just want to keep sheen on it and I want to keep the softness to it so I think I'm going to do that but I will put a couple of pictures of how I've worn the wig like here and here thank you so much for watching let me know if there's some wigs that you've thought about that you wanted to try that maybe I could try because this will give me an opportunity to expand my wig collection and build my confidence as far as wearing things that I normally wouldn't that's what wigs are for they're for adventure and to be daring and to do things you don't normally do and to protect your hair when you're trying to grow it you know I'm thinking we're gonna start a series I think we're gonna start a weekly series I think we're gonna start a weekly series it's gonna be called the inexpensive wiggery and you better have your wiggery wine on deck when you sit down and watch so thank you for watching Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you in the next one.